today we're going to be doing a review for you guys from bandshellcase.com. This is the band shell case. Um, pretty much the point of this case is it amplifies your iPhone sound. So what it does is it takes these speakers and it pretty much makes them louder. But not much other than that. So they, they included this nice little pamphlet. This shows all the colors. They got a, a blue, pink, white, orange, green, yellow, purple, red, darker red, um, a darker blue. Uh, looks to be kind of a black, the red that I have, and also a silver. So comes in a nice variety of colors. This case is going to run you on their website in 1999. I do much all you get is the case, no screen shields, no anything. And basically what it does is this slides up, cocks in this way, and the sound that the speakers put out bounces off that and out towards you. So making it a little louder. So how you take this and put this case on, and, and by the way guys, it is hard plastic. Um, no felt, anything at all in here protecting your iPhone. As you guys can see my finger goes in here so there's really nothing protecting your iPhone from getting scratched really so I would say your iPhone I'm definitely gonna go ahead and say your iPhone is gonna get scratched even nicked I don't know if you guys can see that but there is a nick right here in my iPhone and a nick right here because of this case because in and out of it cleaning it is not very fun and not very easy and sometimes putting it on not very easy as well let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about the iPhone moves around inside the case shell okay there's nothing you can really do to stop that that's a flaw in design I don't know if it's just because I have a review sample of the product or if this is the actual product and that's what it does but the guys over the band shell definitely need to level this out as you guys can see it raises right here see there's a small layer of plastic which is the backing and then it's raised up right here so this case definitely needs to be more level on the inside to where there's not open spaces it definitely needs to be flatter and there needs to be some kind of protective felt maybe guardrail or something like that in there to protect your iPhone from touching the back of the case to put this on set your iPhone in here or in the, um, the frame it doesn't really matter I like to go this way and go ahead and start while your marker side first and snap the corners and you're going to take this side and pull. I usually just pull, lock it in, make sure all the corners are snapped in, and the case is on. Now, when it's on, this case is actually very, very bulky, guys. For what it does, the bulk makes sense. It's a stand, it's just table. It'll stand straight up on the table, and because it has this little slide out piece. Oh, so let me go ahead and slide that back in real quick. The back part of the case, as you guys can see, the camera hole is lined up quite well it's almost dead center maybe a little bit off on the bottom bottom might be a little closer to the camera chrome than the top is but other than that perfect as you guys can see there's the band show logo which looks like this it's the same thing right on the back of the iPhone case nice little touch kind of engraved down there and down here here's a little grip when you're sliding this on and off to amplify your sound on the side as you guys can see a nice big open port port for your volume rockers and vibrate on off switch which is a little big for what you got there I mean usually they come to about here or they cover the entire thing and leave that just open but they seem to have just left the entire thing open which isn't really a good idea although I haven't really had any scratch problems so moving on to the bottom you have a nice completely open bottom now you got bottom is actually really thick which is a good thing because my finger goes all the way in there it's great protection you got great bo bottom protection so if you land here you're perfectly fine nothing good corners are nice and thick and, uh, and again guys once you get the iPhone in here it does kind of slide around a little bit is, can you hear that but anyway good draw protection on the corners the only thing you're gonna get is a scratch but if you're just dropping it here you shouldn't have a problem with it as long as it's not hitting a corner or anything but still great drop protection in it for what it is you got a nice big open hole for your headphone jack you can fit any kind of headphone jacks in there the curved ones you know the straight ones for the iPhone comes with other than that 
any headphone jack will fit in there. And then you have your home button, which is cut kind of off. You guys can see that there's a lot of space here and there's not such so, so much space over here, but it still works perfectly. You can access it, access it perfectly fine. Home button, great access to that. As you guys can see, volume rockers, great access to that. Same with the vibrate on off switch. And as you guys can see for the, <clears throat> for the stand portion, this side has to be completely flat, which kind of makes the case look weird. What I mean, if I'd have suggested them to make a stand, make both sides flat so it doesn't look awkward. It really does look, it's an ugly case, guys. I'm not going to lie, I really don't like it for what it looks like, but I like it for what it does, and it actually does what they say it does. And for the price, I mean, I guess it's a good price for what you get. Get, but it did nick my iPhone, which kind of pissed me off. <laughs> Brand new iPhone, threw it in this case, dropped it once. And I, I get a couple nicks in there. It kind of made me mad. But what can you do? It's done. There's nothing I can really do about it besides to buy a new back and throw it on there. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, other than that, still kind of a great case. It's got a nice lay on the table design. Open face. And let me go ahead and show you what they say it does that it does do. Okay, it amplifies your iPhone sound. Let me go ahead and get out of the web browser. Go into my iPod. Go ahead and select the same song I used before. Um, oh, sorry about this, guys. I gotta find the song. I think I used "Back in Black." Okay. Okay. Let me go ahead and push this over here. Okay, that's stock iPhone sound. Let me go ahead and slide this up. And it's substantially louder. Okay, guys. I know you guys can tell. But that's stock iPhone, and that's just pushing it towards you, so it is quite louder. It's, it is quite a bit louder than the normal iPhone without this little vamp thing. And for calls, if you're in a windy, windy area, area and you're taking a call, this is nice because it blocks the wind. It's almost like the, the flip phones, how they are. Blocking the wind, the, the old phones back in the day that had that little wind guard at the bottom that you didn't really need to use, didn't really serve any purpose, but to guard the wind so your calls are a lot clearer. I've actually had, um, see, I was talking to a friend of mine and it was a real windy day out and I was, wind was blowing towards this side of the phone to say, this is my face and it's up against it, wind's blowing this way, coming in towards it and, um, I, 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 told him, I was like, I'm sorry if the quality is crappy, but it's windy outside. He said, no, you sound perfectly fine. So it does block the wind. Great case. Um, I'm going to go ahead and slay it, guys. This is a slay. Uh, it really protects, but doesn't protect because your iPhone moves around in here. It's ugly, bulky. What can I say about it? It, it, it works for what they, they really trying to sell it but it could be way better. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down at the bottom of my best cases. It's nowhere near the best case that I have, not anywhere close to that good, which you guys know best case in case slider. Actually, right now the best case is gonna be the Switch Easy Rebel for the iPhone. <sighs> guys, I just went test, 10 minutes. I don't know if this will upload, it may. I might have cut a couple things out. But other than that, guys, Check them out if you did, did like this case. I didn't really like it. I'm thinking there might be a giveaway coming up. Check them out, www.bandshellcase.com. This is all they sell is this this case, and it's only for the iPhone. $19.99. I'm going to go ahead and say I would have bought it if I just saw it, but I wouldn't use it. It's not my daily case. I'm only going to use it when I really need to amplify my sound, and I don't want to carry speakers with me. But besides that, guys, 11 minutes, this is going to be a two-parter. Sorry about that. Um, really, I wish I could get up in my subscribers so I become a partner. But besides that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Talk to you guys later. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Go check out the giveaway video. I think I have like 15 products in it now. Might be like 11 or 12 products in it now. I'm not quite sure. I'll count them later. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys. Peace again. Comment, rate, subscribe. Talk to you guys later.